Today's lesson is about creating the quote templates, the ones that you use basically for your messages that go out with the quote. The other stuff was done in previous lessons, so how to create a, a quote, how to create a quote template, and now we're at the point that that quote of course needs to go to the client. You want to have a signature or an approval on it. How do you do that? You go to the admin section, we have to go to admin and then to the section where it says sales and opportunities. Here, quote, quote templates, we did the one. Today we're going to discuss this quote email messages. The system by default has three in there. They're active. Uh, it's an HTML quote that basically sends out a, a link to the quote URL. You have the PDF quote, which basically is the PDF, the PDF that we presented when creating the quote. And you have the quote approval request. It's a default email message. And what you have to be aware of, it says all this quote or this template cannot be deleted or inactivated. It's for all of them is the same. Now, what that basically means, and I'm going to show you, is that we can delete these templates, but we can edit them inside. And that's where it gets a little bit tricky. So I want to make sure you're going to be uh, pretty much aware. Right now, this one is default and they're all active. And for example, I can go into this uh, PDF quote and I'll say edit and I'll leave everything basically in place. And I'll show you in the other one here on the on the bottom. Uh, we can say, for example, an additional line item. Thank you for doing business. And if I would say press save and close right now. And we have to go go back in there. Then you will see that it does stay there. So there's a little uh, little note there that uh, it is a, a, the ability to uh, to make it editable and, and use it. I'm going to copy it right now because it's a, it's a nice message. But I'm going to show you how to create a new one. So go over the hammer uh, menu. That's where you can edit them. You can make them your default. But let's make a complete brand new one. And we're going to use this one as a as our company. Quote. First of all, of course, we make it active, and here you can see is it attached quote as PDF or not. If we don't do nothing, then it will be the URL. If I want to have it attached as a PDF, I'll uh, you have to select this one. And we're going to call this one our default. Default. Then there's an email message sent from and uh, first name and last name and email. Now, maybe you want to send it from your own email. By default, if you just send it out uh, as is, it will come from your email. But it might also be that you have a sales team. Maybe you have a, a sales at your company uh, email address. And of course, that sounds a little bit better that you won't have it coming from that one. But you can also put a first name and a last name. Maybe you want to have your sales manager name always in there. Or there's the account manager that needs to send it out on his behalf, but you have an assistant doing it for you. And you can use the, the account manager's first name and last name in here. And the assistant is then able to send it out. Let's say the email subject over here. Let's say here is a new quote. And over here, I'm going to paste that, uh, that email copy that I just did right now from the, from the, from the default. It says dear and then the contact name that's a variable remember between those parentheses that's that's a variable how you can get to those ones is to this button it says insert variable and you have all those variables that you can use over here you can choose which one you want to have maybe you just want to say okay show code variables and then we can say hey that's the quote number so let me see here let's for example here's a new quote and then maybe i'll put a colon here and i say let's put in there from the quote variables the quote number just have it over here and then you can copy it over here as well to have it in the subject and that works too. Move it from here. Uh, you've been invited to, attach, to view the attached quote because we're going to send it out as a PDF and then also here you can say with a tab and we say we're going to put a quote and we're going to say now we do the quote uh, name. But yeah, like that simple. And this is how you can modify your entire um, uh, message that you want to do. It's an HTML type of uh, file. You can go to, uh, to the HTML code as well. If you can copy this one, go into an HTML editor. That's sometimes easier too. You can also go here and format HTML. Then it becomes a little bit more easier to see. 
You have a couple more options to do some coloring in there and bold and italic. Uh, you can change the font and you can change the font size. So many options to choose there, and especially again, uh, some image you can insert, but it, this is the most, uh, most important one that you can do, the, the variables. Once you're done, you can also say, send a test email. You just basically fill out your own email address here. You send a test email. Don't worry, you will not send, it, send out any quote. But you can fill it out here and then uh, it will send it out. There's also an option to uh, blind copy your account manager again if you have a bigger sales team. And I'll press save and close. And as you can see, there is our new default. Now, that was basically kind of a copy as a PDF quote. And, and I, we have to do it as a new one because you don't have the option to copy it. Uh, quickly go to this HTML quote to see what kind of settings are in there, but they always will be there. As I said, it's the HTML code with the URL, so of course there's the button of uh, attached code as PDF is not available. It's indeed blank here too, uh, but they said in this case to copy the account manager. Um, here you can see there's a whole uh, full email subject with uh, your company name, the quote name, the contract name, all those variables that you can put out here. Um, Got to see here, but here's also that uh, insert variable button over here, so you can quickly get it from here as well. But you can also put it over here, use this insert variables, and then copy it manually to over here too. So two ways to get there. And over here is the quote link, and you can even double it up. You can say you put this quote link in your email messages too, and you can add the PDF as well. It all works at the same time. And the last one is the quote approval request. It's also an example that's already in the system. It's also a default system. Again, not attached as PDF quote, all blank over here. And this one has the same thing too with the quote name. And you have been invited to approve this quote. Please click the following link and then quote external approval link. Now what you might be to do even to do as well, you can say you can put them all in one template. So you can put the quote external approval link. You can put the quote uh, URL. It's kind of almost the same thing. And attach the PDF as well. It's all possible in one template. That might be even the best way to go. But sometimes you want to say you don't want to overload your clients. So one way to do it and at least have the separate ones. If your client just want to say, hey, I just want to have a uh, approval link, then you can send out this one. Like this, we went to all the, all the items. We can still do our uh, own one. We can make it as a default so that uh, the one that you created is going to be the, the one that you want to have always. And you always have all those other ones. Remember, although it says uh, cannot be deleted or inactivated, that means the basic template, but you can make some modifications in there. And that's all for today about these uh, quote email messages. If there are any questions, please visit our Facebook group and post a comment there. Thank you.